Yeah, man, what's up, my purples? My name is Plus Beats back here in the black hole with another specialization analyzing episode for you on popular request, popular demand, how to import your tagged samples from the computer ordinator device into the machine of Plus and browsing them from there. This here excerpt is an excerpt from the Machine Noobs Mastery School, which you can get now. It is available. It's amazing. If you want to check them out, just go to the link below. An alternative is to become a patron or an astronaut, as I call it. Because if you are an astronaut of me, you get everything that I drop for free. So that's another alternative. Let us go. Unfortunately, you cannot browse the root directory of the SD card or from a, a USB stick that you plug into it. And you cannot tag the sounds directly from the controller. However, you can move the sounds into a user content directory on the SD card and import them that way. So that's what we got to work with right now. I hope that we get an update to that and you can be rest assured that if we do, I will update the course on this. Yeah, so I'm in standalone right now. I have three of the sounds that I've, I have imported, my favorite sounds, you know what I'm saying? Let's go into controller mode for one second. So it's a little bit cumbersome to do it. Just dropping a folder with WAV files onto the SD card is probably the easiest way to do it because then I'll just tag it based on the folder name. But if you want sounds that are tagged according to categories, since you can't do it directly from the machine, you have to do it in a kind of weird process. Let me just demonstrate it real quick. Favorite samples for me. Favorite samples for me. Favorite, favorite samples, samples, samples for me. For me, for me, favorite samples for me, favorite samples for me, favorite samples for me. Let's say I have these three samples, I'll rename them. Now I want to tag them and I'll have a look here. Of course, I'll check the user right there. And as right now, you won't find them anywhere in here because they're not saved. So if I right click them and press save as, you do best in actually saving them into the recordings folder or the, 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 the samples, no, the sounds folder in here. You do best in saving them into the sounds folder in a proprietary sounds machine format. So I'll save that one in there. And the reason why we're doing this is because otherwise we need to add the folder that we're saving the files into in the machine preferences here so it can locate them as well. So that's another extra round. So we might as well just save them to the sound folder and then now uh, make sure we go to sounds, have user checked here because that will give you access to your user sounds. No. This is the one we want. Now I'll tag them by pressing edit here. Go down to I already made one here, category, oh my God, favorite, and then sexy. And I'll apply that and I'll do the same for all three of them, just to make sure they're tagged. All right, now all of those should be tagged, it should be baked into the metadata and uh, ready to move on to the machina. And it's not quite as simple as we would like it to be. Let's hop into standalone mode on the Machina Plus right about around here. <coughs> and I got my recordings folder up here. And this is my recording because it's the, 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 the recording is not saved with machine sound. So we need to import both the recording. <laughs> and uh, you can imagine if you have a shitload of recordings, it might be a mess if you're trying to get some old faves, some, some old and goldies in there. Now we're in standalone mode, going to settings and make this into the most expensive SD card reader we have in the household. household. First, we need to go into native instruments, machine and recordings and put our new recording into there. I'm not sure which one it is. So I'm just going to place both there and one is already there. So I'll skip that file. Okay, goody. Now we know the source sample is there. Now we could either pop our files into here and we'll find them in sounds. Boom. And now the machine should be able to read them. The other way you could do it is just go into user content and drop your folder there. This will be the only 
tag data you got to go on. So this will be the only thing you got to filter on. It'll automatically tag the sounds based on the folder name. But now we're doing it in a little bit more fancy way. So I'll eject that, disconnect, and now go into the library and see if we can find them. Make sure you got user check there too. And we need to hold shift and press rescan and wait. It takes quite a while to perform some of these processes on Machina Plus, but pour up a cup of cough syrup and just chill. Now, if you didn't move the samples into the recordings folder, you're going to get a missing content error on here. But now sounds, let's see, do we have our, my, oh my God, my fave? Yeah, there it is. Our tag is there. Oh my God, fave, sexy. And we have some, some ones that I tried out before and also we have our samples in there, tagged and ready. Would I like to be able to just browse a SD card and import them and tag them directly from the controller in standalone mode? Yes. Is it super smooth? Uh, no, but that's how you do it. Okay, bye bye. Good, 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 good. As I mentioned earlier, this is one of the lectures that is part of my Machine and Noobs Mastery School. The online course where you get to know so much almost everything about the machine it just doesn't really matter if you're on the mark 3 or if you're on the machina plus micro users i would not recommend this course machina studio a little bit different but you can still get a lot from it same goes for the mark 1 and the mark 2 but it is mainly focused on the mark 3 and the plus and using it without looking at the computer using the maximum potential of the controller only please like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell right there. And you can also check out the Discord community that we got. That is a beautiful thing. Weekly beat challenges, the black hole. Okay, bye-bye.